Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We're now here with Marie Rose's build and we're starting off with her skills. Okay, so starting off with her basic attack, it's going to be splashing straight. So she's a volleyball player apparently. Um, again, she's militarist. She is going to need fast attack speed for, you know, make sure that she, you know, uh, attacks or serves that wall very fast or spikes it by the way so boost the damage from basic attacks by 50% total if you have her at level 3 ready for her basic attack next up is going to be her ultimate so gains the Sistema effect after every 11 basic attacks perform a unique move to deal ultimate damage to a single enemy boost ultimate power by 10% for every 30 energies she has. Okay, so Sistema is the unique move by Marie Rose will not be affected by silence, nor it will be deemed as an as an unleash of ultimate, though it is subject to ultimate power. Performing the unique move consumes all her energy, but the move will not be automatically performed when she has full energy. So this one is uh, sorry for that one. Um it's going to deal additional damage, uh, basically, aside from her ultimate attack. So, she her initial energy is zero. And zero as well here for regeneration rate. So, the unique move deals additional frost damage. And frost damage is subject to basic attack power bonus. Each time the basic attack is triggered, is targeted, is inflicted, um, is inflicted freeze... The number of basic attacks required to perform your next unique move is reduced by 1 and has a cooldown of 3 seconds if you have it at level 3. So, she could be one of our OP uh, militarists and uh, depending on how big her damage really is, is going to be dependent on how you're going to be building her. So, next is her passive. So basic attack has a 40% chance to deal additional frost damage to the target. The frost damage is subject to basic attack power bonus and is and, and so is a triggering chance of her accuracy bonus. So if you want to increase her passive, definitely you'll have to increase her accuracy bonus. So level two when basic attack, when the basic attack unleashes their ultimate, the next basic attack will be a special one, which is guaranteed to trigger additional frost damage. Level 3, the special basic attack also freezes the target for 1 second and enhances her basic attack power by 50 for 6 seconds, stacking up to 3 times. So, actually, there are two conflicting builds here. Either you're going to build her using focusing on her ultimate or for, uh, one is also for focusing on her basic attack. So last for her skills is Baka Baka Baka. <laughs> boost damage by 15 when there are no surrounding enemies. So boost attack by 5% and crit chance by 10. That is just your basic. So that is her um, skill preview. Um, moving on to her parts. So what I'm suggesting for her guys is that you focus more on her attack speed. Um... Her, what they call this, her ultimate is going, go back. Her ultimate is going to be triggered by her, by her attack speed anyway. So after every 11 basic attack, performs unique move to deal ultimate damage to a single enemy. So it's going to be dependent on how fast she's going to be attacking. And definitely you'll be going with a four piece quick attack set. Then the next one would be a critical set. So that is her primary build. I don't see any more changes in this build. This is probably the opt optimal build for her. And also, if you don't don't have her, um, what do you call this? Her exclusive, uh, what do you call this? Exclusive badge. Then go with Eternal Nightmare badge because it also boosts attack speed by 10 and basic attacks up 21% to bounce off lighting off four times. Each time dealing damage equal to 80% of attack. So let's try to take a look at the badges here. And um, this is what I'm talking about. 
So, um, <clears throat> at this point, I'm not sure if you're going to need this, especially if uh, you want her attack speed to be fast. This one boosts damage, by the way. So, um, it's up to you whether you're going to be focusing on attack speed or boosting of your damage. But this one, I don't think you'll be needing this for her parts. Okay, guys, so my final thoughts for her. Um, she's definitely going to be very, very useful in a Frost team together with her Star Destiny partner. Um, I think uh, it, they would be both be a great addition to that team. So more or less, if you are still building your Frost teams, they are good additions and they can be standalones. Actually, they don't need to be added to a Frost team. So as individuals, they can shine as well. So Marie Rose, our collab for Dead, <laughs> Dead or Alive. So that is it, guys. Put down your comments in the comment section if you have alternate builds for her. Take care, stay safe, Merry Christmas, and I'm out of here.